हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेप सो गाइस एज यू नो बैक टू बैक नोटिफिकेशंस यू हैव सीन नालको यू हैव सीन ओएनजीसी नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टीएचडीसी सो यू आर अवेयर दैट टीएचडीसी इज अ मिनी रत्न कंपनी एंड दे आर आल्सो कमिंग अप विद रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ इंजीनियर ट्रेनी इन डिसिप्लिन ऑफ सिविल इलेक्ट्रिकल मैकेनिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन थ्रू गेट 2023 स्कोर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट देयर कंपनी प्रोफाइल एंड देन दे आर रीचिंग टू द नंबर ऑफ पोस्ट व्हेन यू सी द नंबर ऑफ पोस्ट इंजीनियर ट्रेनिंग सिविल 40 पोस्ट आर देयर 17 फॉर जनरल 6 फॉर एससी 3 फॉर एसटी 10 फॉर ओबीसी 4 फॉर ईडब्ल्यूएस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल 25 पोस्ट 13 फॉर जनरल 3 फॉर एससी 1 फॉर एसटी 6 फॉर ओबीसी 2 फॉर ईडब्ल्यूएस फॉर मैकेनिकल 30 पोस्ट 13 for general, 4 for SC, 2 for ST, 8 for OBC, 3 for EWS. Then electronics and instrumentation, 5, 4 for general, and nil for SC, ST, and 01 for OBC. Okay, so guys, uh, they have also mentioned total vacancies 10, current vacancies 4, carried forward vacancies 6. So they have mentioned this detail. Uh, this is related to PWBDs. Okay, so for PWBDs, total vacancies are 10. Okay, so you can see guys. these are the number of vacancies okay now we are moving to the other things related to the qualification details and all so let us see the essential qualification so for engineer trainee civil full time be btech bsc engineering in relevant discipline from recognized university with 60% in btech okay uh, civil engineering should be your discipline and candidate should ha have 65% or more or when we are, they are talking about 65% marks equivalent cgpa taking average of all subjects in 12th and 10th examination will only be considered okay so they are sick taking that overall percentage marks in 10th and 12th also they are talking about and they are talking about this is 65% candidates with not less than 65% marks 30 years is the age limit okay and that will be counted on 28th february 2024 then guys we are moving about the btech they are asking btech 60% 10th 12th 65% btech 60% 10th 12th 65% okay then for electrical also the same and the branches which are uh, eligible for electrical is electrical electrical power electrical and electronics power system and high voltage and power engineering all other things will be same age limit and percentage then for mechanical mechanical is eligible mechanical and automation is eligible rest are th rest are same then we are talking about electronics and instrumentation then electronics and instrumentation instrumentation and control electronics instrumentation and control all three branches are eligible they are also mentioning if candidate is having 59.9% in btech or 64.9% in 10th and 12th are not eligible okay so you must qualify in 10th 12th with 65% btech with minimum 60% okay and they have also mentioned with the vacancy identified for sc st pwbd only pass marks is required in essential qualification and overall percentage of marks so whatever those rules are they are not uh, uh, they are for uh, general for ews for obc categories okay so rest for others only passing marks are required then you can see for other things reservation will be as per the norms of the government there is no much change in that then the selection process so when we are talking about the selection process the eligible candidates must have appeared for the gate examination and they are taking candidates for gate 2023 score okay so gate 2023 score and when we are talking about the corresponding gate paper okay so for civil post your paper code should be civil engineering for electrical it should be electrical engineering for mechanical it should be mechanical engineering for electronics and instrumentation your paper should be instrumentation so they are taking the candidates from the paper code of in not from electronics okay so do remember that now the normalized score of gate 23 will be the basis of shortlist in case of gate 23 of two candidates are same then marks obtained in essential qualification means your btech marks okay and if they are also same then they will see the 12th marks if they are also same then they will see the 10th marks if they are also same then they will go for the date of birth and elder or you can say older candidates whose age is more will be given preference then they are talking about the selection process consist of marks obtained in the corresponding paper 
of gate 23 and what is the weightage for that gate 23 score will be having a weightage of 75 percent group discussion will have a weightage of 10 percent personal interview will have a weightage of 15 percent so this is how the weightage is divided then they have also mentioned about the candidate must qualify in the personal interview in order to be considered for the job so you can see for general and ews candidates minimum 50 percent marks are required in interviews okay so out of 10 5 is required okay like that for obc scst pwbd 30 percent are required health standards you know medical is also there after interview then the compensation rules you can see the organization offers attractive package minimum basic pay of 50,000 rupees in a pay scale of 50,000 to 160,000 during the period of training as engineer training E2 grade okay then you can see grade in the pay scale of 60,000 to 180,000 during the training so that is after the successful training you will become assistant manager in E3 grade where your package will be from 60,000 to 180,000 okay then they are also take, telling about that other than basic pay, DA, DNS allowance, then you will be getting HRA, okay, all those perks and benefits which PSUs are offering, they all are there, okay, you can see for mobile, laptop, everything they have mentioned it. Then you can see the registration fees, the fees you have to pay is 600 rupees, which is uh, you have to pay if you are general and OBC or EWS category, no fees for SC, ST, PWBD, okay. And you can see next guys uh, about the service agreement. The selected candidates will be required to execute a service agreement. Okay, this is for general OBC EWS 10 lakh rupees. Okay, and for SC, ST, PWBD it is 7 lakh 5,000, 50,000, 7 lakh 50,000. And that is for you need to do the job. Serve the company for three years after the training period is over. So if you are leaving before you have to pay this much amount. Then placements can be all over the India. You can say the selected candidates shall be required to undergo one year training as per schedule. The training period can be extended if performance of the candidate is not found satisfactorily. And they are saying based on the requirement of project, you have to go wherever requirement is there. General information is only Indian national. That is same for all the things. Competition of age will be seen on 28th of February 2024. Okay. So guys, now we are talking about, they are saying that if you are feeling anything wrong, if you don't have documents in support of that, then your candidature can be cancelled. Okay. Then they are also saying about, uh, these are normal things which are there, like the age limits. You can see the upper age limit is relaxed by 5 years for SCST, 3 years for OBC, 10 years for PWBD and so on you can see. So they are also same, same norms which are there for every PSU, every government job. Okay, so now we are moving to how to apply. So before applying for online registration, form candidates should process the follow. Valid and activate email ID and mobile numbers would be required for proper communication. Then they are seeing scanned copy of recent passport size color photograph with white background. This is size mentioned. And then scanned signature of the candidates will be required like in the gate you have seen. Scanned copy of mark sheet, class 10th, class 12th and mark sheet of BTEC. And scanned copy of proof date of birth that is 10th class certificate, category certificate. Okay. And CGPA uh, proof for CGPA and all. And scanned copy of gate 23 admit card and scorecard. Okay. And then they have given the steps. You go to website, to the career section, to the new opening and so on. This is how you will be applying guys. Okay, the complete procedure is mentioned. You can get this PDF on my telegram channel mechanical by Dheera Sardana. So if you want to see before applying, all these points are very common. They have also mentioned applicant can send their query related to recruitment to email ID this. THDC recruitment at THDC.co.in Any working day Monday to Friday from 10 to 5. Okay, once applied the applicant are advised to check the website and email id on the regular basis okay so payment you can make registration fees is 600 rupees okay and uh, they can also mention scst pwbd jnk domicile ex-servicemen victims of riots uh, doob shitra of thdc 
projects the registration fees is exempted and they have also mentioned how to pay the fees and all okay and guys now this is going to be the complete notification now opening of online application will be starting from 28 february 2024 closing will be 29th march 2024 so you can see one month time you are getting to fill the form okay so now we are talking about ki some of you may be thinking about sir gate 2024 candidates for you guys also notifications will be coming but as you know psus uh, they don't have fixed time okay like right now is coming for 23 for 24 may also come in november december january that depends and based on the requirements the number of seats also varies okay so you just need to be ready with your gate score okay if you are 24 candidates so don't worry about that guys so this was about the notification of thdc be ready and this is a good opportunity for the candidates who appeared for gate 23 maybe as the number of seats you can see nalco in ongc are about to come here it is already there so by looking at these seats i am very positive that many students who are already pursuing mtech uh, from the gate score of 2023 they may get chance to join these psus so all the best guys for this stay tuned with us to get all the notification on time and getting all the uh, help for any exams like gate engineering services and PSUs like uh, you are having HPCL, HAL and also the research organization like BARC, ISRO, DRDO. We are always there to help you guys. So goodbye, stay tuned with us and like and share the session.